morning, everybody. It's Wednesday morning, hump day. I'm saying Kwan Pierkin, this is misunderstood. So, Shady McCoy said some shady shit about Eric um, Bandemi. He questioned his his coaching skills. Um, he was on um, I don't want to say names of of shows and and you know all other networks and stuff, but he was on a popular TV show. And he questioned the ability of Eric uh, Bandemi's coaching ability, saying, basically saying it was it's really Andy Reid that's doing the plays, like it's not really him. Like saying words like, like, how is he, like, what's good about him? Basically, what's good about him? Like, is he the one calling the plays and everything? And for those of y'all who may remember, remember, remember when, when Shady, um, Lashawn, first name was Lashawn, Lashawn McCoy, played with Eric um Benjamin. He was coached by him. When LeSean McCoy played for the Kansas City Chiefs, he got like no plays really throughout the season. And during the playoffs, they didn't use him at all. So from the sound of things, listen to LeSean McCoy's rant about about Coach um, Benjamin. From the sound of things, it sounded like it was sour grapes. It sounded like he, he had, like, it sounded personal. You know, um... If you remember, Eric um, Bandemi tried to try to get LaShawn McCoy to change his 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 running his um his his routine of like basically his like like his stance like if he was a boxer like his stance. I don't know the correct word for as for a football player, but where he holds the ball, where he runs, he basically holds it like a loaf of bread, like he just holds it. You know what I mean? And I seen quarterbacks do it. I seen you know. I seen um Patrick Mahomes do that, but he also passed the ball. Do that as a run as, as a running back, you're be- you're begging for a fumble, which he did, and he fumbled a lot. And um, Ben and me was trying to coach him, you know. And the the type of coach that uh, Ben and me is, he don't care if you he don't care if you're a future Hall of Famer, he don't care if you're a rookie, he's gonna come at you. He's gonna come at you. I'm pretty sure he comes at Pat- Patrick Mahomes like weekly. Come at him. You know when he's doing something wrong, uh, wrong. I'm pretty sure he's 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 on his head. Some people could take that. Some people some people take it personal. I guess Lashawn McCoy took it personal because of the the way the way he state his opinion. Like he's a he's a, he's a tired to his opinion. You know, everybody is entitled to their opinion. But the way he came at it, the way he said it, like his tone of voice and just just the demeanor the behind his words, it felt personal. It felt extremely personal. You know, and really it's a damn shame for me when when I when I when I see LaShawn McCoy as you know, as a player, when I see him in this type of like Light, because he was he was a really good running back. He was a damn good running back. When he when he was on the Eagles, he was killing. When he was on the Bills, he was. That's where he really got my attention. Cause you know, if you look at the stats, you you will see that he was he was killing it on the Eagles. But he really got my attention on the Bills. That's why I really got to see like Lashawn McCoy like really show his his you know his 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 football skills. I be too, but I do believe he's a future Hall of Famer. His stats, his his stats shows he's a future Hall of Famer. Maybe not first ballot, maybe not even second ballot, but sometime, sometime in his life, he should be in the Hall of Fame. I just don't like the way his career ended. The way his career ended was so poor, and when he, when he was on Kansas City, every um band of me basically made him. I'm not sure if he actually said these words or made him feel this way, but the demeanor was, "You're not the Lashawn McCoy we thought we thought we was getting," and he showed that demeanor in the playoffs 
when he didn't play him at all. So I guess LaShawn McCoy got got some um got some bad feelings about that. As a lot of people probably would. The thing is this. He dis LaShawn McCoy's comments disappointed a lot a lot of people, especially black Americans. Because not only the fight that Eric um Bandemi is going through trying to get a head coaching job in the NFL, not only not only that, what it represents, like any type of a, a black American become a coach in the NFL, it's like a it's like a win for black Americans. Cause there's so little of us in the NFL. And maybe it's unfair that all this goes on the shoulders of Eric Abandonby, but it does. Just like if 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 a woman become a head coach, there are there are twelve or thirteen year old little girls looking at this woman like someday that could be me. You know there there are teenage black boys look looking at looking at Eric Bandemi and could say we're smart enough to 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 you know do this too. We're smart enough for that too. It's it's like. It was just bad timing on LaShawn McCoy's part. It was just bad timing. You know, I wish I wish he would have went a different route. Or a different yeah, a different route of how he wanted to state his opinion about about um me. It he could have said he could have said the same thing in different words. He could have said something like, Is this is this is his chance to prove to prove that he's that he could coach. Instead of saying what makes him a what what did he do? What makes him a good coach? You 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 unintentionally cited with the mindset of 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 um prejudice, not I ain't gonna say racist, but prejudice people, white, black, Hispanic, whoever, people that have the mindset that black Americans are not Cerebral enough to coach in the NFL, and you basically sided with them. Uh, if it was intentional or not, and I don't think it was intentional. I don't think Lashawn McCoy is like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on the side with these racist people. No, but I do think he let his emotions and his 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 um sour grape experience with every band of me get in the way of the bigger picture, and the bigger picture is. As a black American, it would have been nice to see you support another black American, especially somebody you so that you was close with, not close like friends, but he coached you. And I could see a lot of other athletes other athletes felt this way, especially former Kansas City Chiefs players, who was also coached by Eric um, Bannamy, that basically that basically dropped the walls down. On LaShawn McCoy for his comments. Like. So upsetting. Disappointed so many people. You know. Disappointed so many. You know. And. It was just bad timing. I I wish it never happened. I wish he would have. He would have went a different route. At at least wait it. He could at least wait it. You know, I'm not sure when you could wait, but he just got a new job. And this is obviously, obviously, obviously a job to prove he is, like, he he not successful because of Andy Reid. Because he basically took the same position in the, on, the, on the worst team, on a way worse team. This team don't even have a quarterback right now. But I guess that was his point. Let me show you what I could do with a team that's not even supposed to make the playoffs next year. Let me show you now what that the Washington Commanders are gonna make the playoffs and they're gonna and they're gonna have a high a high value offensive game plan because I'm calling the plays. He should be a head coach right now, but I'm telling you right, I'm telling you, I'm telling you at this moment, if Washington, Washington make the playoffs next year, 
And it's because of their offense, not because they have a strong defense, but because of their offense. Um, but enemy's getting a, a coaching job in twenty in twenty twenty five. That's that's for damn sure. You change that offense around, they got no they got no quarterbacks. Carson Wiz and Heineke and who whatever. No quarterbacks whatsoever. The man represents so much. So much. You know, and somebody's gonna take a chance on him. Somebody's gonna take a chance on him because there's there's a person there that's not following the 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 racial stereotype that we're not smart enough. But they but they're following the trend that this man keeps getting job interviews and not getting the job. So they probably ask around, well, why you ain't hiring them? And they probably stay on a bunch of reasons. Why you didn't hire them? Probably stay on a bunch of reasons. And I know more I know one of those reasons is Andy Reid calls most of the plays. Well of course he of course he calls most of the plays. He's the head coach. Of course he's gonna call like 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 more than half of the plays. Especially on the offense, he's the head coach. But we we're not gonna see an inaculate enemy had nothing to do with nothing. Jamal Charles, Kansas City's um, all-time um, um, leader in Russian, leading Russia. I should say leader in Russia. Leading Russia. He came to to the to the offense of Eric um, Benemy after um, Shady McCoy tried to bring him down in public. You know, he came to his defense. You know, dropped the wall on on Shady's comments, and and gave props to Eric Umbenemy and his and his offensive schemes, giving him credit that I'm the all time Chiefs Chiefs lead in Russia because of him. Not, he didn't say those words, but you know, that's basically basically what he was saying. It felt good to see Eric Reed try try to give try to give um Benemy's props and during the Super Bowl, Super Bowl interview. Say his name in the interview live on TV, millions, millions of people watching. He didn't say, "Yeah, you know, I'm you know I'm I know was the right the right place for my guys, and I know who could do what and 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 no." And no. He said, "Shout out to Eric um Benemy." Giving him credit. You know, giving him some credit. Because he's calling plays, y'all. Don't act like this man is not over there with the clipboard calling plays. He's calling plays. A lot of these great plays, probably, it, it, it probably came from Eric um, um, ben and me. They have two Super Bowl rings in like the last, what was it, five years? Yeah, five years. In the last five years, they play in the in the in the in the AFC Championship game and got two Super Bowls out of it, and we're gonna act like abandoning me had nothing to do with that, at all. He had, he had everything to do with that. The Eagles' offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator got jobs days after the Super Bowl, and they lost the Super Bowl. I you know Peter. Doug Peterson, oh, OC got a job. We 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 all over um um Kellen Moore all over him, waiting for the moment he he becomes a a, a head coach. Jobs getting offered to him and everything, and and like like the the Cowboys can can't even win a, a playoff game. They they won a playoff game this season. Good job on the road too. Wow. See you another thirty years for the, the next the, the, the next time that's gonna happen. Keller Moore's not even on, on you know coaching that team anymore. But it's like we watching all these people, these men getting jobs that they do deserve, and every 